Hi Twin Flames, welcome back, welcome if you're new. Welcome to this DMDF Twin Flame Tower Love Reading. My name's Sophia. Uh, me and David's going to be doing a live on Thursday the 18th of this month at 8pm. So uh, I'll see you there, get your questions ready. Uh, twin Flame questions, it's not about tarot, it's Twin Flame questions. So I'm going to jump straight in because... Um, <clears throat> lots of work to do and I normally waffle when I'm long enough in these anyway so let's see <laughs> Bruce Lee oh my god oh I don't know that one's name uh, okay oops So, what have we got going on here? Oh, I've ordered the beginner's tarot cards today. So, I'll probably get them next week. So, that'd be cool. Um, three of coins, king of wands, eight of caps. Eight of caps, what's going on here? Then I'll dig in here. Three of coins, king of wands. Hmm. Your person's watching you. This is what I'm picking up from this one. And trying to, I don't know that word, suss up, I think it's called. You know, figure out is another word. If to, look, having some forward. <laughs> look at that, right? Look, he's got his wand there and he's watching. He's like, uh, shall I go in for the kill? Shall I come towards? Because the next one is eight of cups, right? Is like walking towards or shall I walk away this is what I'm picking up shall I go towards her or shall I walk away him or her that's pretty basic here so let me see what's going on look at that my second best card Bruce Lee obviously in the deck um, Clint Eastwood's number one so ace of wands five of wands ace of cups I don't know this woman so ace of wands five of wands see look it's like uh oh three of pentacles is about mm, i went straight to this i was pulled in this is both of you because three of pentacles is like working as a team um it doesn't mean like you know like up in mission together working as a team but um it, it, well it's more like the tw twin flame this is kind of like the temperance card i'm feeling a bit it's you work as a team but separate this is what i'm feeling and i feel that um your person's ready to do that like work together as a kind of couple as you would say but it depends on how you see it to be because i feel like i said in the talk reading and i've been saying a while the david's just moved into the place i feel we've got closer together i'm going there tomorrow actually lucky i remembered that so i won't be i might be posting but i'll be i uh, uh, i might um send no not tomorrow friday friday's my day off i'm just pre-warning you I'm just saying I might post it but I might not um, I won't be answering any emails I'm trying to get more days off anyway this is working as a team um, and like I said like David lives over there I live here obviously he was here today he obviously recorded I'm gonna go and stay at his on Friday and it, it works perfect you know that's I feel is perfectly fine there's you know that's union to me this is three of pentacles is your version is it three of pentacles three is very important because three is like is it um because they have a third party situation of work children's babies mum until they get rid of that is that what you class as union this is what this is about because of although this is ace of wands with bruce lee genius right they said he, he took paracetamol and he died i'm like what kind of bullshit they chain anyway right this look he's being defensive can you see he's ready he's like yeah come on then you want to fight 
but it's like or it's a battle to get this teamwork with you two but this is the ace of wands so you're like nah i do want my ace of wands i do want this new passionate beginning with my person right but your person standing there got his wand ready him or her it's like you sure matey right because all i can see is a uh, bruce lee attitude over here defensive right ready for the fight and five of wands defensive again <laughs> it's five of wands see and this is because other people's opinion about your teamwork three of pentacles in my deck of cards which i'll start doing them again but you know i'm going to use these ones for a bit is um a wise teacher as well so it's like have you been taught by other people how your person should come towards you with this ace of uh, king of wands but you're saying you want your ace of wands but you're defensive because other people's belief system has put it um in your head how your person shows up like i was saying me and david and i'll talk about that like if you've got questions write it down and then tell me tell us when we talk but that's what that is like um when i first met him first time round. Uh, everyone was saying, you know, he lives over there. I, I, these two years, I've never known where he lived. And the year before when I knew him, I never went to where he lived. I had to just trust that, right? When I first met him, everyone was saying he, he could be living with, it were, wife and kids and girlfriends and all this thing. I had to just trust that, right? Because where he lived, he said that no one was allowed there. Now, obviously, Twin Flame, there's drama anyway, I had to, but I had to trust it, do you see? But now he's moved out of there in his own place, so I can go there, right? So this is about, but other people the first time was Five of Wands, that um, it stopped it. Four years, I was thinking today, four years he came back later because of other people, Five of Wands was telling me how I should have relationships. At this time when he came back I was like fuck that I'm not listening to no one it's been it's been fine it's been fine right this is about that other people's interference and this could be a belief system a tradition but this is a this to me is about relationships how you see relationships as far most of you say um, I even say to you, would don't even have the title of relationship, and you subconsciously even want in them to have the title of relationships, right? Uh, David says he's dating me, yes, but we I don't go out and say to people I'm dating him. If I do, I, I you know it's not even about that. But you lot want to hear titles of relationship. You want to hear that they're saying, yeah, this is my woman. This is my man. We're dating. You know, he comes to me every Saturday, date night. All that. That's what this is. This reading. Underneath the eight of cups. It's like, is he going to walk towards you? Because you, you're the one here with the um, ace of cups. I don't know this one. I don't know who this one is. Um... You're the one here with the Ace of Cups and it's like, uh, um, you think you're walking towards it, but you're walking away from it because you're not emotionally invested. It's like, no, I'm fine. I, I've got the cup of love because it's the woman with the cup, right? But you're the one, this is why this doesn't, he doesn't walk towards you. This Eight of Cups, because it's walking towards or walking away to me, right? Because you think you know it all. I'm the emotional one. I'm the one who's investing. I love him. I'm fine. So why is why is he anxious? Why is he like? Are you sure? Shall I, shall I shall I go over there? Look at you. Looks like a fake smile to me, right? Looks like it. It's it's spilling over, right? But it's on the outside. This is about loving yourself on the inside. This is you giving your love away to these other people. Five of Wands. The, oh, look. The underneath, look at that. Check that out. Two of Cups. Right? This came out in the other reading with these cards, I think. Two of Cups is about love. It, this is what this reading is about. Your version of love. 
Do you need your person to say he loves you or she loves you? Do you need your person to say, yes, we're dating? Do you need, you know, your family to see your person? Do you need to go around your person's house, right? Do you need, that's what it is, or is it just love? And this is for you to know, the feminine. What is love? It should be just your person. That's it. I'm not saying we don't argue or you don't argue and you don't have offs, but most of the time, most of the situations is due to an expectation of something and it's, we are here just to be about love. That's what this reading is about. Pretty basic, but still lots of people not getting the concept here. Oh, oh I'm just getting the alien one. So short reading. Oh, there we go. So let's see with this. You need to do massive inner work here on this one. Or get into mission, which you're supposed to be. Then I do one to one, and then I, I always figure out what the issue is when I do the one to one chit chats. <laughs> I'm always like, ah, because you, you, it's, you're so close to it, you don't even see what the issue is sometimes, you see. That's why it does help by having counselling and stuff like that. As you know, David's doing counselling now, and he does um with with the programmes, right? Because <clears throat> Marissa is more, um she's doing, you know, she does it for natal and birth and for addictions and for mission. Joey is galactic and he's doing, uh, Joey is really busy. So I said, David, you know, maybe go through counselling with the programmes. If you struggle with the programmes and you're not going deep enough, then that's, I said to David, you know, you know my programmes, obviously. So do it. Obviously, and I've been saying, I'm coming away from the image reading. The closest one to me is David who can do it. He can do it as deep as me. <clears throat> so if you, but if you want an update, go to Sheetel. But if you want an, an initial um, tower reading and stuff, I'm going to put him up there. Because I'm going to do what is this. I'm going to be in the background, getting down to the nitty gritty. When you get into mission, right? You go through boot camp, then you get into mission. When you get onto the money program, right? Then I'll see what the nitty gritty, the last little bits, that this is happening. This is what the planets are trying to sort out, Right? Between this time, you should have had a kind of aha moment, recognize your but There's something between these couple of days that you should recognize, feel. It's more about emotions here. Feel your person, something like that, right? Know they're feeling you, and that should be enough, right? To know that that's love. Is that not enough? You want them to be there? They don't have that feeling. If you're feeling your person between the 9th and the 11th, that's enough. It's like, wow, I can feel that. You don't have that with a soulmate. You do not have that with a soulmate. That's love, right? That's love. It's like, what do you want? Them to come and tell you, right? Well, grab a soulmate. They'll tell you every day they walk out the door to get a loaf of bread. I'll be back in a minute. Love you, right? Or do you want to feel that? I promise you the soul might prefer to feel it. This is what this reading is about. Eleven means path. They're trying to put you on your path, right? Eleven, eleven means you and your person need, need to be on the correct path. Start or focus on mission. This year, well, that's you lot, right? That's you lot. Keep thinking that you just over there doing your little Reiki, acupuncture, health programs, candles, makings, whatever, and you're in mission. Yeah? You think that. How have you been doing that? It's got closer to your person. It's not about that. This is about, yeah, you two in union. Um, third eye, Mercury. Third eye and Mercury, this month is about communication, right? And I feel that they've expanded that because not everyone has that telepathic. In fact, I don't, I don't really have telepathic communication with David or I don't have any of this feeling, right, of your person. 
But if you're not with your person and you're really feeling them, that's another sign. I think because I'm always in communication with David, so I don't need to have it. But if your person is over there and you're working on yourself, they're giving this kind of like other twin flame path signs. You know, that feeling frequency I'm noticing that more of you lot are having. And like I said, this is a third eye Merkur, so this is about awareness, intellect, open-mindedness, divine reason, bigger picture and trust, right? This is insight, inside you know, inside you feel. You're standing over there, showing off with your cap outside, yeah, I'm in love, I'm happy, right? But no, eight of cups, you walk away from it because your person don't come with his ace of cups. It's about you, your version of love. This is what this twin flame is about as well. Here are codependency. This is about, look, see the throat chakra glowing? I've got a new bright light. It's killing me. Got a headache, right? Codependency. Wanting and missing your person. The pull. Focus on your solar plexus, which is power and wisdom and know it's your person. Uh, you know, that's what I'm saying. They're giving you the signs. You know it's your person, what the ass, right? That's what this is about. You know it's your person. When people ask me, is this one my person or this one my, I don't know my twin flame, you know. I'm telling you, the only time I asked David was if he thought we were twin flames is when I created this channel and started getting into the twin flame thing. Apart from, I did tell him, but I, did, I never asked him, do you think we're twin flames? How do you feel about twin flames? No, I knew. That was good enough. Let's see what um, Mr. Man, Mr. Harrison Ford is thinking or feeling. I, I'm going to do the, the David Bowie tomorrow so you can see, oh gosh, look how many comes out. You can see, um, <clears throat> hopefully with this new bright light I've got, you can see if the details of the card. I miss you so much it scares me. This is this feeling thing, you're feeling right with your person. I do want you to meet my friends and family. Please give me time to sort myself first. Oh, he's not my twin flame, Sophia, because if I ain't met his family, well, I ain't met Mr. D's. There you go in your face, right? It's on the card, right? Now, I want him to say it, right? I run as I keep hurting you, right? That's what he's doing. He's here. He's watching. He's like, look, this is eight of cups. Run towards, run away, right? He's here watching, or will I go and hurt her again? Because she has this expectation, he has this expectation of me to say, I love you, meet my friends and family, and uh, we, we have the pool and all this, I miss you. This is what this is. That's why he keeps running. He's like, shall I come or not? Look, what did I say to you? I know we are twin flames. They know upstairs like i said you're feeling your person and they're having all this you, it's it's like you're feeling their dark night of the soul for some of you you're feeling a kind of in depth i don't know how to explain it but a kind of a dark sad feeling i think you're feeling some of you that's the kind of um converting how they see love as well it's stripping down their version of love i feel the planets are doing as well so they're going through it with their caps and their emotions as well right so they know that your twin flames oh look i said they're watching you i constantly look at your pictures and messages harrison ford is watching you here look look at him slightly worried shall i shall i make the move but he's ready he or she's ready so it's up to you here how you uh, um, take it how they see you right how they see you like uh, David said he watches he watches um, my videos and he said in that talk he sees how I he can feel how I'm reacting within the videos right if you're shitty and you're moody and la 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 and you're not you know happy and he said they that's how they watch you 
I always say that they watch you. Go on, you go and do, oh, well, Sophia, I've got my own shop doing candles. Well, how's he going to watch you? It's going to look a bit stalky behaviour outside your shop, isn't it? You're supposed to be hitting um, um, all sorts. One shop on the corner of the road ain't really going to, uh, how are you going to nail twin flames? Right? What's the possibility if you've got a, a candle shop, you're going to get all the twin flames together? That's just your selfishness. Right? I love astrology, big time. Right? But this is what I'm supposed to do. I can incorporate astrology, which I do very well. I put Andrea on here. <laughs> right? It's not always what you want. It's not always about your way. That's a belief system. Right? That's a belief system. This is about belief, tradition, religion, social uh, pressure, all that in this reading. And it's like, do you just want your person or not? That's it. Anyway, I'm out. So don't forget Thursday live, 8pm on Thursday the 18th. Uh, me and David answering your questions. I'm out. Speak to you later.